67 overall. That was the score report that I saw crying in the washroom, I still remember. But I thought I had applied everything, but the score just disappointed me. And I even thought PTE was a scam until I figured out these 10 hidden tips that actually helped me without putting much effort to get that 18.9 overall in a way 90 overall. Make sure you watch the video till the end if you really want to understand what are the hidden tips that I discovered which helped me improve my score from a mere 67 overall to an 89 overall. Hey everybody, Nasir from Skills PT Academic. Really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with yet another super awesome power packed video on those 10 hidden tips, the secret tips that I discovered during my journey of 67 overall to a whopping 89 overall. Before we get into the video, if you're not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. And anytime you need online assistance, it's a paid assistance, you can WhatsApp us to the link given in the description of this video. I'll be there, we will be there to help you, guide you in the right direction. All right, without further delay, let's stay away, get into the video. Let me just share my screen. All right, this is that score report, which actually baffled me. I was always a public orator. But the score of 53, 67, 77 just shook me, you know. I just lost the confidence that I had within me all through the while. But then it did not just stop there, correct? This was the report that I got. Trust me, it's not edited. You can text us, we can show you the full score report. Uh, here we will not be able to show, share because it appears on copyrighted one. So we have edited few things. All right. So this was the score report that I got in the end with a lot of struggle. Trust me on this. So in this video, I'll be sharing my experience as to how I started from this and ended. Not exactly ended because I'm still continuing my journey of training students. So in this video, we'll understand all those 10 tips with which you also can actually increase your scores. All right, let's start with 10 hidden tips that I tried from 67 overall to 90 overall. It's actually 89 overall. All right, the first tip. Let's start from the beginning, speaking, writing, reading, and then listening. Imagine this, whatever you assume could be wrong. What if you are told this? A lot of people would not be able to accept it. Correct, many have their own assumptions because of the availability of the things in the internet. But one who has experience can only give you the right information. In our course, we have taught few things and people have just left the course telling us on our face, saying, you are teaching exactly different, opposite from whatever is shown, whatever is given, the Pearson guide. You just scam me. And all the words we get to hear on an everyday basis. But the reality is sitting very far from you all. Whatever you assume and read a lot could be completely wrong. You just have to do it. The unusual way. What is the usual way? In the Pearson score guide, you open pearsonpt.com. You will find a Pearson score guide which tells you, you have to stress the words, giving the ample stress, giving the right intonation. Phonetics all matter a lot. No wonder why people download the pronunciation apps and try to learn the phonetics, the sound, basically how to pronounce the sound. Onion, onion. Well, I don't have the correct pronunciation, but all I know is how to get that 90. <laughs> all right, so no stressing. No intonation, no phonetics, no extra clarity. Do it the unusual way, you get this course. You do it the usual way, 100% you will not get this course. So, when I get, you know, when I got by speaking 53 and reading 66, I was doing the stresses, I was doing intonation, I was going with the proper phonetics, I was trying to give the extra clarity because I was assuming the poor software should be able to fit these data, which is also given in the Pearson official guide. See, this is the phone that I am using, right? This is the Samsung S24. The phone also came with a manual. In the manual it was written, this is the fastest processor in the entire universe. It can work like this. You open an app, before even you click, the app will open in that way they had written. But the reality is sometimes I click on my WhatsApp like this. It will take 5 seconds to open. So, idea is very simple. That we all need to just accept it. Correct? Whatever they write, whatever people claim about their product is not 100% true. Any product you take is not definitely 100. The Mac that I'm using right now, it hangs multiple times, man. 
it is written no hang processor that this whatever written in the manual whatever they claim is not 100 percent true they have to do some sort of things advertising to sell the product same with the pearson they are not any different they are not from mars correct the idea is this is a read aloud how I read when I got 53. The Amazon River is a colossal waterway in South America renowned for being the largest river by discharge volume of water on earth. Originating from the Andes Mountains in Peru, it winds its way across Brazil, Colombia, Peru and Peru before emptying into the Atlantic Ocean. And I thought, yes, it's like a winning moment. I read it so nice. The score is completely different. And over the period of time, I realized when I talk to my roommate, his name is Rahul, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if he's still watching the video, he's in Australia, by the way. He is speaking 90 other modules for less and I asked him, how you read? You know how he reads? How he read? The Amazon River is a colossal waterway in South America, renowned for being the largest river by discharge volume of water on earth. Originating from the Andes Mountains in Peru, it winds its way across Brazil, Colombia and Peru before emptying into the Atlantic Ocean. He read like this and that was the opening moment and that actually opened everything for me the different dimension of understanding because that is a reality if if let's say in sydney if someone comes and asks you i have eyesight problem i'm not able to read what is written in that in that big board can you read it for me how do you read bus the amazon river do you read like this no you read in a way that person understands what if i start talking to you this way no i just talk to you in the normal way what rahul did was the precise way to read. What I did was completely bullshit, which I accepted it. And when I did the unusual way, <laughs> I got a different score. So the reality is very simple. You just have to do it naturally. No intonation, no stressing, whatever is given in the, you know, the Pearson guide. If you follow that, you get low score. <laughs> okay. The Amazon River is a colossal waterway in South America, renowned for being the largest river by discharge volume of water on earth. That's all the read aloud is. For this, you don't have to practice. You just do it the normal way. Take a newspaper and read. How do you read the newspaper the same way you read? You will get the marks. You do some other drama, marks will go down. The software will teach you a lesson. Think about it. Repeat sentence. Whatever you assume could be wrong. Remember this quote. This quote will repeat 10 times throughout this video. Just have to focus on the fluency. No stressing, no intonation, no phonetics, no extra clarity. Content? <laughs> no. So when I got low score, I was doing the exact opposite. Let's say there is an audio. It started raining heavily in southern parts of this country because of which farmers committed suicide. And I was trying to repeat. It started raining in the southern parts of the country because of which farmers committed suicide. And I got 53. In the last attempt, I realized it is not the content. The computer is unable to understand or interpret every word. So what they do? They are not even giving preference to the content. What they are giving instead preference. Whatever they can give preference, whatever they can code, whatever they can code. Fluency, just a black box. You get that, 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 continuous speed rhythm. You get the marks, otherwise no. Of course, some of the content should match. The idea is very simple. Here, 50 60 percent content is enough. You try to speak full, you do not get the marks. Not everybody. Why am I telling you this? You try to speak everything 100 percent, you fumble four times, 100 percent, you think, you pause. It started raining in the southern parts of the country uh, due to which the farmers committed suicide. You nobody will be able to say it started raining in the southern parts of the country and due to which the farmers committed suicide. They want something like this. And if you try to speak like this, you will fumble. The reality is, you do not have to speak full. It started raining in the southern parts of the country. Click next, full marks. 90, you have seen the report. You try to speak full, that is where the problem starts. So, the idea is very, very simple. Whatever we think is correct is not correct. <laughs> this is the reality. One who accepts it will see the way forward. One who does not accept it, Know that he is blindfolded, but he is assuming he is wearing a binocular, he is using a binocular. He is actually blindfolded, which I was once upon a time. Listen less, speak less. Well, if you have the ability to speak full, you speak full, but speaking full is not going to guarantee you the full scores. Speaking with a proper fluency alone will give you the full course, full scores. If there are 12 words, 
you speak 12 words with lot of pause, zero mark. If there are 12 words, you speak 6 words or 7 words with a perfect fluency, meaning the same way as the speaker, speed and the pauses. Do not have to copy the accent, you will get the mark. So, next time whenever you practice, practice for that fluency, practice for that rhythm, not for the content, getting it. Describe a major of man, this was a revelation. Those of you who do not know the meaning of it, check the meaning in the dictionary, the Google. This was such a revelation that, I mean, after I figured out the real technique of describe image, things just opened on its own. I mean, I, I thought that, I realized that, I probably understood everything about the software. They give an image. There are thousand people, all thousand people will speak different from the image. And how the person is uh, trying to understand the correct answer? The idea is, there is no correct answer here. Alright, so what do we think? We see the image and we start trying, you know, we start speaking. We try to give the perfect content. Psychologically, we think if I give this, I will get the marks. It is the opposite. You try to give that particular perfect content. You need some time to think. As a result, you fumble, you pause, you break, hesitations, zero mark. The given image represents, I am just closing my eyes. The given image represents a beautiful image. There must have been a blah, 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 da, 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 Then why are they giving the image? <laughs> Give it a thought. Well, everything I cannot share it here, but the fact is content is not given any preference, not a priority, not even least preference, even beyond that. No stressing, no intonation, no phonetics, no extra clarity, no keywords, nothing. It is just the fluency, fluency, fluency and what? is fluency here. Whatever the way you spoke in the read aloud, the same way you do. Am I giving the right keyword? Am I using the highest, maximum, minimum? All those are made up by a mind, correct? We believe whatever we see and we have seen this, someone doing and we tend to think. No template, like template, nothing will give you mark. All that gives you mark, all that matters is the fluency. If that particular template helps you get the fluency, use that, otherwise change it. Do not assume this template will give me, this will not give me, no template will give you mark. The fluency alone will help you get the scores. So, any template is fine. Avoid using lot of content. In fact, do not use any content. If you really want one or two keywords you add, otherwise not required. What gives you mark is something else. All right. Essay, let us jump to the essay. Oh, a lot of people still have a lot of misconception. The day I realized about describe image, that what matters is something else. I realized everything about the software. Now, essay also could be something else. Whatever we think for this question, oh, right idea, oh, wrong idea, oh, I think I gave a wrong idea, so I got low marks, nothing. What gives you mark in essay? <laughs> Say it is a computer, could be AI power, we do not know. That is what people, I mean, I mean that is what Pearson's claim. The idea is whatever it is, at the end of the day, AI is not 100 percent perfect so far. It cannot detect few things. So, they cannot give preference to content. In fact, they are not even bothered about the content, all they are bothered about is <laughs> the spelling and the grammar. This people do not focus. This is where people have problems. But what people focus on? Template, content, right ideas. In doing so, 90 percent of your Einstein's brain capacity is gone. The remaining 10 percent with, with that 10 percent, what will you do here? Content not a priority. Spelling is grammar is not a template. The idea is very simple. You follow any template. Make sure you write 5 sentences on your own. In those 5 sentences, have a mixture of simple, compound and complex. This is very important and when you did so, there should not be any spelling errors. Let us say you wrote a perfect essay, giving a lot of pain to your Einstein's, Albert Einstein's brain and made 10 spelling mistakes. It is going to be 0. Remember, on the other hand, you wrote a very bad essay, bad in terms of content, but beautiful essay in terms of spelling and grammar, perfect essay, precise essay in terms of spelling and grammar. You get full scores. When I realized that I stopped practicing for the essay, I only practiced grammar and spelling, 90 writing. And one more revelation, essay is not going to decide your writing scores. Essay is a low priority module. Essay will give you some 10 to 12 marks, not more than that. Whether you change template or not, 10 to 12 only you get. If you write a perfect essay with correct spelling and grammar, you will get 12 marks from one essay. You make mistakes, out of 12 you get 5, 6. But this in any way will not decide writing 90 score. Please understand this. Summarize written text. Whatever you assume could be wrong in my first attempt, 
I, sh I saw the paragraph, started using my Albert Einstein's brain and try to write a synonym. Actually, I was thinking to summarize it because psychologically we think we need to summarize it correctly. Correct? I did so 77 writing. That is fine. The idea is what matters here is not the summary, <laughs> it is the grammar. Synonym you use, marks will go down. What is the guarantee the poor software will understand the synonym correctly? I have tried all these things. See, summarize written text is a low priority module, contribute some 4 or 5 marks to the reading and writing both. You use synonyms, you use your extra brain and try to write something on your own thinking you would get marks, you do not get that marks. Out of 5, probably you would get 1 or 2. It may not be a huge impact, but as all the small, small things make a huge difference, a cumulative effect. Correct? So, in my last attempt, I just took copy pasted one full sentence, another full sentence. In between, I add comma, A and D connector. In the end, I put the full stop. Within like 20 seconds, I finished and click next and moved on 90 writing. Well, because of this, I may not have got 90, but because of this, I would have got 5 out of 5. Writing will come from some other module. Reading, writing, fill in the blank. Listening, fill in the blank. Write from dictation. These three contribute some 70 to 75 marks to writing. The remaining for writing will come from summarized written text and essay. This is the reality. These are all the hidden tips. They are hidden so deep that you just have to dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it and understand, which I have done in my life that I am sharing you here, foolproof. If you trust, you go in the right direction. Otherwise, eventually you will come here, probably after one year or probably after five months. <laughs> all right. Reading, choose multiple answer. You still cannot believe what and all things I did to learn this. I did so many stuff, CA books I was reading, so many other examination books I was reading to understand how to solve this. But over the period of time I understood, this is just there so that you kill your time and you do not get time to important modules. Reading FIB comes after this, drag and drop. You spend uh, 5 minutes here, there you do not get the time. This is not going to give you any mark, the reality, because I skipped it, ran, selected one and moved on, still I got 90 reading, 86 reading. So, the idea is something different, sitting far from you. The reality is sitting very far from your different planet. You just have to use a binocular and watch it. Do not get blindfolded. Do not take time and solve it. Do not practice on an everyday basis. Directly go to exam. The moment you see this, choose one and move on. No negative marking that this for this, do not worry. Reorder the paragraph. Okay, I think I missed it. For CA, I mean, in the CA book, the chartered accountant in India, there is an exam which is so difficult. I just told that multiple choice I was using it, no, for this I was using it. For multiple choice I was reading the IELTS books and all, <laughs> wasted all my time. Jumbling paragraph, there is a module in CA exam. If you are a CA, you would know, you would accept it. If not, then check it in the internet, you would get to know. Trust me, I was spending all my useful time putting some Amrutanjan and Jandubam here because headache, such a difficult module. Some more than 20, 30 questions I used to solve and then 31st question, again I used to get zero. <laughs> Then I realized there has to be something with it. I mean, when everyone is not able to do it, then how people are getting 90? Probably this is not given a lot of priority. People ask me, give me some tips for reorder the paragraph. I tell them, do not take time and solve it. Max 1.5 minute, not more than that. Try doing it. There are some techniques I have shared in the YouTube. At least get the first pair correct. You will get at least one mark, if not three out of three. Within 1.5 minutes, you get the answer, great. If you do not get the answer, again great, randomly choose some answer and move on. It is not worth spending a lot of time. Hardly 5 or 6 marks, even if the 3 question comes, 2 questions will come. This is in any way not a priority. We have lot of people getting that 90 reading, even after making mistakes here including myself, 86 reading. I mean, that is what. So, what matters is reading FIB. Reading FIB, you become perfect. Then, you do not have to study this. There also problem, here also problem, then the marks will go down. So, when I got that 66 reading to 86 reading, this I never give priority, so that I got lot of time to focus more on reading FIB and reading writing FIB. All right. Right from dictation, whatever you assume could be completely wrong the plain audio, I have to exactly write as it is. You write in a certain way, you have to write exactly as it is, but you can add extra words. You will not be penalized myself. So many students, man, more than 30,000 over, 
Um, more than 10,000 people have got 90. Add extra spellings. Write in any order. All this will work. But simply doing this will not help you. When you do this, it should match. I will just show a small demonstration. The CEO announced the company's quarterly earnings during the meeting. The CEO announced the company's quarterly some meeting. We will just listen to it. The CEO announced the company's quarterly earnings during the meeting. Earnings during the meeting. So, now this is the answer. Now, pay more attention. Two or ten words are there. Companies apostrophe has to come. Quarterly earnings during the meeting. Even if I do this, I will get 10 out of 10. The I have not written. It is okay. CEO, one mark. Announced, one mark. The, not there. Company apostrophe is one mark. Quarterly, here, one mark. Earnings, one mark. During, during the the meeting meeting two das were missing that i have added here quarterly i have added here it's all jumbled up with lot of words if i do this it is completely nonsensical grammar is wrong do i get marks people are kidding i got myself 90 writing that was the reality sitting away from you and people try this and get 40 overall and those are the ones who come and comment here don't try his techniques it will not work if you get 40 overall means it will not work if you get 90 overall means it works huh? The idea is when you add extra words, it should match. People write quarterly, three spellings they write, three different spellings and all the spellings are wrong. Then simply adding extra words is not going to make any difference. See quarterly I have added this and this. This is a wrong word, this is a correct word. So, when you add extra words, it should match, it should match. Definitely it will give you marks. Already tested, done and dusted. Already tested, done and dusted. The idea is yes, right from dictation is a listening skill. If you are able to listen, process and then write, you can write. If you are able to listen and no process and simply write, you will not be able to write. Every module has an approach. These are the hidden things when you understand, you actually go in the right direction. You will just remove that blindfold and watch, oh, I am actually running here. Here there is nothing, probably I should take a U-turn and run towards this direction. That is what exactly happened with me and it will happen with you as well over the period of time. Okay, ninth step. I do not shout in speaking man. I have seen uh, tutors telling students, people will join our course after joining someone's institution. And when I ask him, how you performed in speaking? He told, I shouted at the top of my voice, literally screamed. First thing, that is unethical because it will spoil someone's future as well. Second, when you speak very loud, so many of the words that you pronounce, software will not be able to catch. Speaking, you may still get 90, but reading, listening will even more go down. These people do not realize. They never simply shout, man. If someone else is shouting, you raise your hand, call the invigilator and ask the invigilator to shut that guy up. Or the best solution, which I tell in, you know, like, I mean, like most of the videos, you go like half an hour early to the examination hall. You get to meet your competitors, the friends, right? Strike a deal with them. Shake hands. Hey, buddy. How are you? This is me, so and so. Let us do one thing. Let us not shout in the exam. If you all cooperate, all can get marks. If one of you do not cooperate, nobody gets marks. When someone shouts, it may affect your scores because it is noise cancellation, Mike. I totally understand. But that also has a limit. If someone is literally screaming, then obviously that amplitude, that strength, that person's voice strength will be more than yours. Then this Pearson software or the you know headset probably may get confused whose voice to cancel, <laughs> isn't it? So, please do not shout. Normal volume or little bit higher, market research is a vital part. Market research is a vital part, this is enough. I, I mean, I do not want to shout now, my voice is gone already, <laughs> but do not scream, that is not accepted. I request everybody, please do not do that, because it will not give you scores. And the tenth one of all the things. This actually helped me. It may not help everybody, but if at all you belong to this problem, then it will definitely help. Let us say you finished your read aloud. They will give you 35 seconds in the beginning to prepare and after you prepare, beep, one beep sound will come. Then you start speaking. Again 30, 35 seconds will be given for you to speak, but you will end it up in 20, 20 seconds or 18 seconds. After that, you will just keep quiet. Then software will wait. 1 second over, 2 seconds over, 3 seconds over, then it realizes, oh, this person has, you know, shut his mouth. 
silence detected and it moves on to the next question. Well, fine, it will work most of the time, but like I told, what if Mr. Butterball on either side is screaming oh, on the top of his voice, the top of his voice. When you are not speaking, you finished and did not click next button. You are just sitting for the microphone to turn off itself at that time. Unfortunately, the two Butterballs here on either sides screaming, obviously his voice will be recorded. No, he is literally screaming. So, in order to avoid all these things, the moment you finish, click next, read aloud. Repeat sentence, describe image, written lecture, answer short question. Anything throughout the module, not just the speaking, anything, once done, click next immediately. You will be in the safer hands. I think um, that is all I have got for you. I really hope this video of me experiencing or me, you know, like sharing my experience has given you the hope of getting that bigger score in spite of having a low score today. Do not worry. Hope is you know good thing, probably the best of things. Be helpful. If you are blindfolded, if you believe you are blindfolded, untie it and just watch things, the reality. Do not go by whatever is written, whatever Pearson claim. Most of them are correct, but at the same time, most of them are wrong. You just need to understand this. The real experience, 67 overall to 89 overall. And so many students with 90 overall, you can witness the same in the YouTube community post. Alright, I really hope you have enjoyed this session and learned a lot of knowledge. If you believe the same, if you think it is an informative content, like, share and subscribe. Fine guys, this is Nakul N A K U L Nakul from Skills PT Academic. If you want coaching for PT Academic, PT Core, IELTS, Nati, any point of time you can WhatsApp us. The link is in the description. Soon I will be back. Till then take care. Bye bye. Thanks much.